radio stations across the land, JoePags.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, also Newsmax TV. Glad to have you along for the ride. It is the Joe Pag Show. Glad to have our campus reform hit one day early this week. Normally we do this on Thursday, but since I'm in Washington, I thought I would do this ahead of time and, and bring you the great folks. This is Kenny Nelson, a correspondent from uh, from uh, CampusReform.org, uh, Leadership Institutes. Kenny, how are you? I'm good, Joe. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Really a pleasure to have you on. Um, are you still in college? I always ask this. Are you still in college or are you just freshly out? Uh, no, I am actually a student at Colorado State University. Well, excellent. Uh, and uh, boy, Colorado. Are they, let me just ask you this because yeah. I think people watching and listening want to know this, Kenny. Is everybody perpetually stoned in Colorado at all times? <laughs> it's funny that you asked that. Um, <laughs> Yes, that well, is good. completely the case. It's a simple answer. No, I actually, <laughs> no, I, I had um, uh, some relatives go to Colorado recently, and they said it's the weirdest thing. People are like walk around the streets with a with a blanket wrapped around them. There's, it's like a new wave of hippies or something oh, in Colorado, yeah. and I, I'm guessing it's the ganja. Your guess would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. Well, we'll talk about that further uh, next time. You've got some incredible stories here. And by the way, if people don't stop by uh, campusreform.org, do so. I do so every morning. These stories are amazing, and these young reporters do an incredible job in shaming the legacy media. This is the way you do journalism, and they do a great job with it. Let's go to UW-Madison, which always seems to be the center of some sort of controversy. I guess there's some event that is for white-identifying LGBTQ plus folks. I don't need... Can I be honest? I don't even know what that means. Help me out here, Kenny. Joe, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> At Leadership Institute's campus reform, we report on stories all the time in which leftists are talking about whiteness. And it, it's so interesting. I thought whiteness was a biological matter. Yeah. But they constantly talk about it as if it's this abstract concept. And it's just just ridiculous. It makes no sense. I don't understand it at all. So, so, <laughs> Clearly, so, you don't either. No, no, I, I don't. Look, I, I I'm not white, Kenny. As you, <laughs> can, as you can tell, I'm olive. <laughs> I, 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 I'm I'm not even right, white. Right. But um, uh, but but as a white man in America, I don't understand the constant attacks on one race and how the left gets away with it. But I'm guessing by looking at this story that this actually means if you're lesbian, gay, bi, trans, or queer, or questioning, I guess the Q can be anything. Um, and you also identify yourself as white, we have to have a forum for you. Is that really what I'm seeing? Right, right. And it, and it even describes them. Uh, it, it's the, the event was held for them to discuss their role in oppressive uh, constructs in, in, in the world. Um, this is all just insane. It, it's, it's really guilt based yeah. or it's group based guilt. And we, we know where that can go. It's happened in the past. It's wrong. And, and it also is, it, it's, it promotes segregation uh, of people by uh, on, on the base of race and sexuality. It's just wrong. I've been talking about this for a long time. It's Kenny Nelson from CampusReform.org. Uh, but, but I've been saying this for a long time. The left somehow has convinced an entire new generation, not everybody, obviously you're not in that, but uh, has convinced a, a, an all-new generation that it's time to segregate ourselves again. We fought right. for desegregation in this country. We've got people out of, what is it, uh, UC Santa Rosa, that are, are um, they, they, they're doing sit-ins until somebody does an African-American sorority <laughs> house or something, and, and until they paint it the, the colors of the African flag or something. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. They are, they are pushing loudly to be segregated away from the oppressive, horrible people when, when what they're really doing is they're playing into a sensibility from 70 years ago, 60 years ago. Right, right. And, and the left, they always talk about their great virtue of inclusivity. But really, this is just in, uh, intersectionality on steroids. It is. I mean, I mean, they could not bring their problems with white people. They, they couldn't let their problems with white people supersede their embrace of the LGBTQ community. And you see how it plays out. They have to group them in as these oppressors. It's it's so weird to me because they're inclusive, unless you're white, then you can't be included. It is uh, Kenny. Nelson. Kenny, what is your what is your Twitter handle? Uh, at K Nelson seventeen seventy six. All right, uh, we'll make sure people go and follow you over there. He's from CampusReform.org. Go and follow their great stories and great reporting every single day. Let's go to Clemson. Now, when I think about racism, offensiveness, misogyny, um, homophobia, Islamophobia. The first thing that comes to my mind, Kenny, is a chicken sandwich. A am I right? <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> Come you're on, exactly dude. right Help there, me out yeah. with this. You're exactly right there. Um, well, you know, it, it's just another case of progressives getting more riled up over non-citizens rather than their own citizens. 
an offensive joke about, well, seemingly offensive joke about undocumented immigrants was posted outside this restaurant and people were all up in arms over it. Yeah, and, what, and what, what, what did it say? What did it have to, it had to do with a chicken sandwich? I don't get right, it. Right, right. It, it said something along the lines of the chicken sandwich big enough to feed a caravan. So, <laughs> so delicious it should be illegal, <laughs> which is Yo, funny. That's good stuff. Yeah, that is yeah, good I, stuff. Right, right. I think it's funny, actually. <laughs> and, and honestly, joke, comedy and, and joking, it's, it's not meant to, to divide us. It's meant to unite us. And I think that's why, you know, comedians like Dave Chappelle or, or Joe Rogan are so effective with what they do. You, you can't be funny anymore. A chicken yeah. sandwich big enough to feed a caravan. Who's right. offended by that? Let's just say it, it's a big honking chicken sandwich. And it didn't say, screw the caravan, we're not giving them chicken. It actually said we could feed the whole damn thing with one. What, why is that a problem? Does anybody ever ask for an explanation? Why are you offended by, by this chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. Well, you can't ask a leftist for an explanation for anything because an explanation is just another tool of white male patriarchy. You, you know that, Joe. <laughs> I mean, come on. They, they, don't, they don't care about making sense. Oh, my goodness. You and can't ask for an explanation because it's white male Christian patriarchy, by the way. Right, right. Christian. All, all of the above. So, so many things involved. Talking about Christianity, let's go to the Virgin Mary, which is an obvious yep. you know, segue from chicken sandwiches. Right. Um, <laughs> a professor says the Virgin Mary didn't give consent. So my question to you is, did the Virgin Mary, are they, this professor alleging the Virgin Mary was, was raped by the angel that came? Yep, yep. Um, I actually broke this story last week, and it, and it went viral. Um, I can this see why. Guy, this, this professor really tried to me too God, basically. And, and it's, it's just absolutely insane. Has like, God he, apologized yet? <laughs> uh, no, you know, I should ask him though. If you meet, if you meet to anybody else, they end up apologizing in, in long tweets, and they yeah. go, they go to get sensitivity training. I mean, it, when I see stories like this, and I've asked your colleagues a lot uh, th this very question: that's not real, is it? There's not really a guy who's. Is this at a, a, a publicly subsidized university? Hmm. No, we're not paying this guy's ticket, are we? Right, right, and that's what's so insane is that he's really discounting real horrible rape cases. And he, he's obviously being like, he's joking, you know? And you don't use rape as an avenue to, you know, own the Christians, to, to use a quote, you know? Like, it's just insane. No, it, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. And, and, and do people like this, in your opinion, Kenny, do they, do they wait till Christmas time to say something this stupid because they know that it's <laughs> going to get a lot of attention? I mean, that must be why he's doing it, right? Well, I think so. But at the same time, if you look at this professor's Twitter timeline, he has this strange attraction, this affinity towards Satan. And, and he, he actually describes himself as a secularist. And I don't know any secularists that own, you know, demonic statues, uh, uh, Christmas ornaments with a pentagram on it. I mean, why does he even celebrate Christmas if he's such a secularist? Well, it sounds show like, his, it sounds know, like show, he, he misspelled Satanist. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, show me a secularist that has statues of Satan, of satanic deities. It just, it's ridiculous. Well show, well, show me a secularist on the other end of the spectrum that has statues of the Virgin Mary or of Jesus Christ. You don't. Right, because right, if you're a secularist, you don't believe in any of that stuff. Right, Th exactly. This, if I say secularist, they'll just have to believe it, I guess, is what this guy's saying. It's, uh, exactly. it's, it's uh, uh, Kenny from, uh, from Campus Reform. It's uh, Kenny Nelson. Uh, give, give me that uh, Twitter handle again, please. At K Nelson. 1776, N-E-L-S-O-N. I'm sorry, say it again? Oh, yeah, N-E-L-S-O-N, right. Kenny Nelson, K Nelson, 1776 over on Twitter. Go and follow him. One last quick question you didn't know was coming. But with all this hubbub about Mueller and the president's going to jail and Cohen's a piece of garbage and Comey is the greatest guy ever and Hillary Clinton did nothing wrong, is there sort of an uproar, sort of a murmuring that's getting louder on these campuses, these very liberal campuses? Because did they think that Trump's on the way out? They got him? Well, I think they do, Joe. And honestly, it's it's a little ridiculous. At this, as things have been going, Trump has been a bit untouchable, and the jail I, I think is just absolutely ridiculous. And the Southern District and of New York of actually they're, they're said all, we're, we're not looking to charge, you know, witness one or person one with anything. So the fact that they're all screaming and yelling to the high to the high tops of the mountains that doesn't make any sense because again, he's not in any trouble. Right, right. He's always up to something, and he's always has himself taken care of. And it's it's definitely strange, but 
this is a growing trend on college campuses. At, at University of Illinois, there was a Trumpaganda course oh, focused uh, focused completely on how Trump uses propagandistic, you know, methods to promote his his evil agenda. You know. It it sounded to me, Kenny, like you said, Trumpaganda. Trumpaganda, Trump, really? Trump, that, that's what the yep, course is? Come on. Stop that's it. what it's actually, that's what it's called, Trumpaganda. Wow. So. It is uh, Kenny Nelson. Go and follow him at Nelson 1776 on Twitter. We always appreciate all of you guys over at campusreform.org. Go follow them. Uh, open up the website in the morning like I do, campusreform.org. Kenny, thanks a million. Thanks, Joe. Back after this in the Joe Pag Show. Stay right here. 